Hey there, this is Mikhail at Scalability and today I'm going to show you how to export a CSV journal from Google Sheets that you can instantly import into Xero. So what we're going to start off with is let's say we wanted to uh, export these six cells. So you'd have a CSV and it's just those six cells. Well, what you do is within this sheet, you then pick the URL from the top and within here, you can edit it into a format like this. I'm going to talk you how to do that. And then when you press it, it will just export those and you'll download a CSV with just those six cells. So this is, let's paste, this is um, what I've just pasted from the top. So let's do that again. So let's close that one. So I'm just copying the URL as it is, and pasting it here. Oop. Copy and paste. And you, let's look at what the differences are. So, so everything is the same up until this point here. So you've got the uh, Google sort of base domain, then you've got this code here, which is the sheet ID. So this is unique to this whole spreadsheet. So if I continue adding tabs um, and pick the URL from each of those tabs, these would stay the same. You then have, um, after that, edit, hashtag grid zero, and that's this first tab. If I had another sheet, that grid equals zero, uh, the next one would have, well, let's go to the next one, you can see that it has a different GID, so I guess it's like a tab ID. So this one is this long number, but the other one is just zero. The rest of it is the same. So what we do is you can see that um, it replaces edit hashtag with export, question mark, format equals CSV, and the and sign. So you'd replace this bit with that. The GID equals zero stays the same, and then you add and range equals, and then you put the range in a in a normal format. So if I wanted to export this bit, well, actually, I've already put that, and it's here. But if I wanted to do that from this one, let's take this one, put it here, and start editing. So let's, um, instead of edit hashtag, let's replace it with export, question mark format equals CSV at the end sign. So that's all after the forward slash there. And then after the GID equals zero, I'm going to put and I'm going to put the range and I'll B8. So B uh, range equals B8 two and then let's say C10. So I'm just sharing my window so you can't actually see what that looked like if I exported it. Um, but I'm going to export it in the background. I'm going to open it and then I'm just going to paste it in and you can see that it's the same. So you won't be able to see this, but <laughs> I can reassure you uh, that it worked if I paste it. You get those four. The next bit then is if we go to zero and we want to import, they give you a template. So let's uh, download template file. Just going to open that. And here we go. Let's make this a little bit. So this, these are the headings you need if you wanted to import a journal into Xero. We can combine that with this export to be able to uh, quickly import a journal into Xero, or, or invoices or bills if you um, put them together in a spreadsheet. But I'm not, I don't use the trackings uh, in, the, in the demo company, so these are just the mandatory ones. Let's say uh, the narration was journal for 2020, the date, just date, and then a description, and account code, I don't actually know what account codes they've got in here, so let's just have a little check. So, let's do, we've got medical insurance, 
So we're going to do medical insurance, and I'm sure they've got accruals. 85. 85. I mean, essentially, this is the general that we're going to try and do. So 483. 483. 805. Yep. And then tax rate for you. Know that. We could do something smart and have those formulas uh, linking all this stuff together. So this is the uh, medical and this is the across. And then the amounts, so let's put um, positive is a debit. So let's put 10 pounds here, minus 10 pounds there. Okay. So let's say this is the journal I wanted to do. I would then edit this and put B14 to Sixteen. Okay, I'll export this, and then go to zero. I could browse and install the sheet that I've just downloaded. Okay, so it didn't like that. It didn't have, it's saying it doesn't have all this info. So I'm just going to open it and check out what's going wrong. Ah! Although I've edited it, uh, it's linking, it's still linking to the old stuff. So let's copy that and type in from scratch. This is a different hyperlink to the one that's typed there. So let's click on that. Try that again. And there we go, complete import. And then we're just going to open the journal before we post it so you can see that it's the same. So, uh, journal for 2021. And there we go, you can see all those fields have been populating, populated, and then we could just post stem the company, so let's just post that. So if you wanted to make this a little bit easier so that you um, you didn't have to type out this every time, what you could do is, let's just move this out of the way. So you'd have the sheet base, which is the first bit of this um, formula, which is everything up to Here. And then we would have the sheet number or sheet name, which is the GID, which in this case is zero. And then we also want the range, which uh, is going to equal all of this. Yeah, with the equal sign. And then the uh, hyperlink that we're going to use to export it is going to be it's concatenate, it's going to be that, that. All right, note, so I forgot on the and range. So let's put in here, it's going to be and range equals. So you can see that this is the same as what we had before. Yeah, so forward slash export mark format equals CSV and GID equals zero and range equals and then we've got the range. So we're happy with that. And then if we wanted we could um obviously as I move this down I need to update that. Uh, let's give it a, this is the link, and this is a hyperlink, so we could do hyperlink, uh, it's going to be that link, and we're going to call it uh, download, yeah. um, there we go, so if we were to change this to 15, and this is minus that one, 
new journals 41 um is it b23 yeah to b25 yeah that works and we can also make this uh, a formula so we could say um equals concatenate and b23 is always going to be the case it's always going to go up to g and then we just have to work out how to get and it's always going to be this width so it's always going to be b to g it's always going to start at 23 and then we just have to work out how far down it's going to go um and to work out how far down it's going to go we would just pause for a moment okay so i've worked out so what we would do is if we wanted to work out how far down this would go we're going to count how many non-empty cells there are from here onwards so uh, I'm going to just do that on the side, so number of rows, and I guess that would go and happen above here. If we wanted to keep it in order, so we go count ifs. We're going to count everything from there onwards. If it isn't blank, so here technically we've got two things. We've got isn't, and then there is nothing between that and the so there's kind of like a, a nothing there if you were to do nothing it'd be that and we're saying not nothing it gives us three which is easy so if we had another another row let's split this up so it's uh, minus 10 and minus five that still balances it's four rows so we're going to do um g and we're going to do 24 Let's say that the length of this, 4, so 24 plus 4, which should give you 28, and it'll do minus 1. So 24 here would equal uh, 24 plus at minus 1. There you go, up to G27. So that works. And now we never have to worry about how many rows there are. We could just continue adding, let's say, minus 3 and minus 2. And go up to G28, it would know. Obviously, you need to make sure there's a narration here because it's doing it based on counting in this column, but you'd always you'd always have to make sure that there are um that they're all full lines. There we go, once you've done that, download it and then you go straight into here, import, browse for it. Didn't select. So set the file and then import. Ah, it wasn't B24, it was B24. I inserted a row there, didn't I? Set it again, B24, because B24 is this one all the way to G28. Yep, that's right. Download. There we go, new journal, 41. You can see it balances and all the signs are right and it's got all those lines. So there we go. So that's how to quickly export a journal out of Google Sheets and be able to straight away import it into zero without having to edit. Thank you very much.